All right, welcome back to Cheap Horsepower, everyone. I wanted to show you how I'm able to use the 24 volt battery on all of these machines. And it's all down to how I hooked up this adapter block. So as you can see, I'll take this out. It's nice and secure in these power wheels. It works out great. All right, so this is the power block I got from Amazon. It's for the Cobalt 24 volt, uh, as you can see here. Um, it works great. Um, actually, should be able to see, there's the, man, uh, the guy who actually makes these. Um, so you can go ahead and pick it up either on eBay or Amazon yourself. It is pretty cool um, because now what I've done is I've made it portable. By having these little connections here, I'm able to go into these little connections I made on the other side of that loom. And now what I can do is obviously I make sure I don't let these guys come into contact with each other. And I'm able to move it from one machine to another. Okay, now I know I have battery charge. I can come up here, everything's plugged in as you can see. It's just loose, I'm just doing a little test, right? So what I would do is I'd come over, just like normal, turn on my machine. And like I said, this is just gonna be to test it. But look at that, ready? It's moving. So I'm able to take this setup and literally put it in any machine I want for my son. So I'm able to put it in that dirt bike. I have the connections there, positive, negative. I can just take the block with me. Same thing here if I wanted to, I could do the same thing there. Now, some of these stock pieces, you can literally just stuff right in uh, if you wanted to, if you want to avoid all that, but they can pop out. That's the bad part about these. So having these eared connections, it's much better, you know, female and male connections, I should say. It's much easier. You can go from machine to machine as well as they stay put. You know, you can yank on this stuff. It's not going to go anywhere. I'm going to insulate these a little better. So in different machines, I'm not going to have to worry about these two ends touching each other. That was my only concern. Um, but other than that, it is a great setup. It's been reliable on all machines and it makes it super easy. If he wants to ride the power wheels and drift around, he's got it. If he wants to grip and rip around the racetrack, he's got it. If he wants to ride his dirt bike and practice, you know, riding a motorcycle style machine, he's got it. All right, so this is everything that comes in that kit that I, uh, I would have gotten from Lowe's, but I actually got it used. I got a great deal on it. Um, I think I got my kit for like 70 bucks, but brand new in the package, it would have came with this. It comes with the charger, it comes with the big battery, the extended uh, extended run one, as well as this smaller um, two amp hour battery, which this one gets about 10 on average minutes per charge. This one gets about 20 uh, minutes per charge, which is really great. So overall, you're looking at about 30 minutes uh, on average. Now it does, you know, depending on how hard you're thrashing your equipment, uh, it could go much less than that. I know the Razor equipment, it tends to drain it much faster. Uh, the Peg Perego that I uh, have formed, the little power wheels, uh, doesn't drain as quickly. So I get a lot more runtime with him on uh, on this battery setup. And he loves it. This one uh, really changes the game on the uh, Peg Perego, the, uh, the power wheels. So what a great setup. So uh, I definitely highly recommend doing this if, uh, if that's what you're trying to do is get a little bit more speed for your uh, son or daughter. Uh, and it's a great reliable way of doing it. So yeah, give it a shot. I would say the biggest benefit to this entire swap is this. This does not take hardly any time to charge. The original batteries that come in this, um, uh, Power Wheels, Peg Perigo, it takes about uh, 18 hours to fully charge a battery. This big one, we ran out completely this morning and it is now fully charged after about four or five hours, um, which is huge because I could run this multiple times within a day 
Not only that, it can be charging while I'm running either this battery or this battery. So let's say first part of the day, I run this battery out. I throw this one on, he's able to run around for a little bit while this one's charging. And it gives it enough charge to basically get back out there and run a little bit later in the day if I wanted to uh, with another fresh battery. Um, this one charges quicker, obviously, because it's about half the time. So this one only takes about two hours to charge. So overall, this is such a great setup. Having the two batteries really, really helps. Um, because like I said, if he wants to go back out for a little bit and just have a little bit more fun for a few more minutes, um, this puppy is the, uh, uh, the go-to, the little small guy.